Hi, I'm Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary here at the Visa Screening Room. Tonight, September 14th, marked the world premiere of Sir Richard Attenborough's film, Closing the Ring. The film has a uniquely Canadian connection. Several of the aircraft in the film were actually provided by the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. Located about 90 minutes west of Toronto at Hamilton Airport, the museum is a wonderful tribute to the aircraft and airmen of Canada's aerial history. Well, this museum is one of the uh, few large flying museums in Canada and it, the collection of airplanes in this museum is quite unique. We have a number of World War II airplanes that were used by the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force and also flown by Canadians uh, that went to war and flew in the Royal Air Force. Got a phone call from a locations manager looking for the perfect place and we were it. We did some green screen with, uh, with the actors, with uh, Christopher Plummer. The actual flying scenes uh, that they wanted, uh, I actually flew a Harvard airplane. I spent about two hours doing low passes which eventually were edited in uh, and it was Christopher Plummer doing a low pass over a funeral and almost taking the steeple off the church. Well, I had the fun of actually trying to do that. <laughs> wow. So you played Christopher Plummer. Well, I, I did at a distance. You're basically a stunt double. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I, I, I thought, yeah, boy, this is as close to a stuntman as I'll ever be, I'm sure. What we did uh, in the actual movie was we did a start scene in it, and that was a nighttime start scene under a, a rain-making machine. And at nighttime, when you start it, flames shoot out. So it's pretty uh, dramatic footage. Sir Richard Attenborough was a cameraman in a tail of a Lancaster. After the uh, bombing raid, they would overfly the target and take pictures of the target destruction or damage to, to determine whether they were successful or not. And he flew, I believe, six or seven missions as a young man doing that. When he came to the museum and saw this airplane, uh, and he stood behind uh, the, the airplane at the tail turret, and there, there were a few tears in his eyes. It's real. I mean, that plane's there, and guys flew in it, and, um, you know, it all happened in those vehicles, so it was really great to be around it. Well, he's a superb veteran director who is, whose work has been so lauded for so many years. How did those actual planes influence the mood or the perf your performance? Oh no, entirely. They have a great impact because of course I made, made Battle of Britain many years ago in which he was in, Richard. Really? Yeah. And uh, that had huge amount of Spitfires and Mitchell bombers and, and it, was, um, it, it does tear your heart out when you're with those old planes.